Vish, show us your camera. We want to see it. Hold it up. Check it out. Can you guys guess what this is from a very quick look? This is his number one shooter. What is this camera? This is Taki from BigHeadTalker.com, and I'm here in the secret lair of camera film photo. Hello, Vish. How's it going? Very well. Thank you. Thank you, Vish, for allowing us to shoot this video. Um, we, I say secret lair, but I mean, what is the exact address here? Or do you want to talk? You want to? Well, I think the best place to find us is through our website, CameraFilmPhoto.com. Um, we're we're in a sort of industrial area of uh, Hong Kong in Kowloon. Um, not, not the prettiest location, but it works for us. Oh, it's, pretty, it's pretty inside <laughs> though. Um, I, uh, the camera culture is very deep in Hong Kong and I've been back here, my wife's family's from here, and so I, I thought I knew all the cool cats in Hong Kong, but for some reason you're so cool I had no idea you were around until uh, Tommy Chong who's from Vancouver, moved to Australia, back to Hong Kong. He told me about you. And in Bangkok, Bellamy said, you must go see Vish. Like those words, you must go see him. So, so we're here. Right. Well, I'm still a new kid on the block uh, when it comes to sort of the analog business. Because I only started about three years ago. Um, it's a complete passion-driven um, business. Um, and it was, it was Bellamy and a, another friend, Dan, who sort of, uh, sort of nudged me and says, Vish, you've got all these contacts, why don't you start, you know, doing this? And sort of, I took the plunge and I started the business and, and my wife as well, she says, you know, if you're going to do it, do it right, but oh, just go and do it. So, um, um, I started with one brand, which was Rolly, um, and then I sort of then expanded and then I had Berger and I've got Cine Still, uh, I've got Active Photo, and um, a few other brands. And you're adding more, but we'll just keep them the down low until it's Correct. official. Yeah. But yeah. I'm excited for you. But you said something pretty interesting, which I really like. I'm going to just put this cam down here. I call this guy Lenny. Lenny. You know the Lenny Kravitz? The one that's, <laughs> right. Yeah, so I just call this. Uh, you started off, like you said, you're passion based, and I find that a lot about the Hong Kong brands is that they are really in the culture. It's like starting up a wine shop and not liking wine. To me, it seems odd. Mm -hmm. And I think when you're, especially with analog photography, it seems backwards. And so unless you love it, there's, it makes no sense to start up as a business. But you said you started off as a photographer, like as a street photographer. Well, I wouldn't call myself a street photographer mm. or a photographer. I just like going out and taking pictures. Well, that's, <laughs> that's what makes you a photographer. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, and yeah, I didn't really start doing street photography. I initially started um, shooting anything from flowers to, <laughs> to everything, and yeah, and I, I couldn't. I, I basically self-discovered that you know I like taking images, yeah. but then I realized before street photography was actually popular that I like uh, 
capture the people and, mm. and their daily lives. And, yeah. um, you know, I started with the Nikon FM and, uh, you know, I shot that for a couple of years and um, embarrassingly enough, when people start seeing my work, they said, why are you using a Nikon? Why don't you use something like a Leica or something? And I said, what are you talking? I don't even know what a Leica is. Um, so eventually I got my first Leica, hated it because I didn't understand the workings. Mm. Um, I'm completely self-taught, uh, no one actually taught me how to use anything. So in terms of shutter speed, aperture, I learned it the real hard way. Um, so either black or white, <laughs> straight, yeah. yeah. Um, and then I also sort of trained myself where I could uh, meter uh, without using a light meter. Perfect. Um, and eventually as I moved on, uh, uh, upgraded. I uh, now use a like an M7. People th don't really think that's a, well, a real right camera. M7, yeah. Um, but uh, it works for me, and uh, I continuously to use it heavily. Uh, this this car is be uh, no, this camera is now sort of like nice looking, but it was actually quite rough looking because it's just been uh, for service uh, about a year and all uh, ago, and I've got the leather changed and. Got the top and the and bottom who, changed. Who did the black paint for you? The black paint on the camera is done by Leica. Oh, uh, even the signature. Oh, uh, very good. That's done by uh, Leica, but this one over here is done by um, Bellamy uh, mm. through Canto Camera. Oh, very good. Uh, it's the same lens that I've been using for many years. Which uh, is? Which is the uh, thirty-five millimeter Summicron, mm. uh, which is uh, the eight elements. I really like this lens because it's. Um, yeah, it just just makes beautiful images. It's compact. You like the rendering on it. Yeah. Um, Shoot it wide open. And some people don't like the goggles, but I, I quite I quite dig the goggles actually. I think it just looks cool. It looks like Wally. <laughs> <laughs> it def it definitely looks unique and it stands out. And I think that's one of the most important things. You know how guys modify the cars just to be a little bit different than anyone else. I think it's a reflection of our style and who we are. And so a camera should you know instead of keeping it mint. Worry about the resale value. Just make it the way you want it to look like. Exactly. So I'm quite happy that you know the character's coming in slowly. Oh, you're getting the brassing. You're not gonna Absolutely. fake Lenny Kravitz it like this one here. I'll uh, just let it brass. Just let it uh, brass on its own. Yeah. Um, you did tell me a kind of a unique story though that uh, I even asked you. I said, you know, you're too young to have grown up with analog photography. So I understand why you're not into, you know, like you were, you know, you kind of went digital first. But then you told me a story about your father, which was kind of unique. Ah, right. Um, it was not until a couple of years ago where my father told me, hey, did you know that I was a wedding photographer? I, I used to shoot with a twin lens. I'm like, you never told me that. <laughs> <laughs> so he, he, he used to shoot with a, a Yashica yeah. uh, twin lens. Yashica Flex. And yeah, he, used to, yeah. Yeah, he used to do all his uh, processing and printing himself. Wow. Um, and he did that for a couple of years with, I think, his um, his elder brother. Oh, wow. And then eventually they moved to Hong Kong, and hence, sort of, uh, they stopped doing that. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I guess photography was sort of in my blood, but I didn't sort of realize until just, like, maybe a few years ago, so. And your dad was just kind of watching from afar, and waiting for you to get... It's like when Luke, when Darth Vader finally told Luke Skywalker he was his son. <laughs> That's he was just it. waiting for that right moment. It's yes. like Vish, I was a photographer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a fantastic story. I think all photographers, they kind of have a story. There's a story behind, you know, why they got into photography, or why they like shooting a certain type of camera. Um, so let's now go all the way back because like, we kind of digressed because you were going forward. So now this is your, your business, Camera Film Photo. Mm -hmm. And uh, how are you enjoying pursuing your passion as well as making it into a business? Um, well, I really, first of all, I love what I do. Um, <laughs> um, and the good thing is I have um, a lot of suppliers who, uh, who believe in what I do mm. and uh, have become very good friends. Yeah. And, uh, and they see the passion and drive I have. And they, they want to also sort of change because they come from a very... Um, old-fashioned way of business the traditional yeah. traditional yeah. business yeah. and the way I look at it it's it's not about selling a product or selling uh, a brand or any specific brand um, I want to promote it overall mm -hmm. uh, I want people to sort of uh, know how beautiful uh, analog photography is it slows you down makes you think about what you're photographing yeah and it's just not about you know 
pushing the trigger and firing, you know, ten you know, spraying. Ten, yeah, ten frames point, a second. Point and spray. Um, yeah. You know, when it comes to photography, uh, I'm like for myself. Uh, I nev I'm never eager to see what I shot. Uh, I was like I told you earlier. I've shot like hundreds of rolls, and I have got just negs which are just piled up. And oh yeah. I haven't even seen. Welcome to the club. Yeah. Some of my. Um, work but you know what um, well I've seen some <laughs> of your work is right behind us right here that's beautiful well, thank you I love that it's a fantastic photo uh, I shot this in uh, 2014 uh, mm. with, uh, with my Rolly flex yeah uh, it's with, beautiful with the color reversal film which gives it a sort of a, a yellow vintage oh feel I thought it. I thought it was an older picture and even the way they're the people are dressed it could be 30 years ago Th this is a um, a very special event called Goodwood Revival, and I photograph it every year. Oh, very so good. I go there every year to photograph it. So is this in London? Is this in this the UK? is this is in UK. Yeah. Um, Which you mentioned you have some family there. Yeah. So yeah. it's it's in the UK. I go there once every year to photograph it, and uh, I use the same film, same camera. Which is you mind? Okay, so we know uh, it's a Rolly Flex. It's a Rolly Flex. Yeah. Uh, the film I am using, I'll just. He'll be right it. back. So that's the film that I shoot with. Beautiful. It's a rated. Um, 200. 200 ISO, yes. but I shoot it at 100. Oh, uh, overexposed by stop. Yeah, so yeah. it's lighted and set everything up, yeah. and that's how I like it. Yeah. So, unfortunately, the film is discontinued. Oh, snap, how many rolls you got left? Well, uh, I still got quite a bit. Quite a bit? All right, <laughs> so remember, buy it from Vish, it's discontinued. This is vintage film here. Yeah. Very vintage. How good is that autofocus? Not come very. on. Yeah, Fuji, <laughs> come on, man. You got to work on your autofocus. But it, uh, excellent. So this is the film you use. Yes. That yes. you use for that. Yeah. Oh, excellent. Uh, but you know, when it comes to film, I'm not loyal to any film. Um, yeah. Uh, I basically shoot and try, and or whatever I have, I shoot with it. Yeah. Um, do you yeah. have some? Do you have some favorites though? Obviously, you have some favorites. Oh, I do have some favorites. All right, let's start listing um, them, even if they're fifty. It's Kodak Triumphs. Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Everyone talks about Delta. Yeah, you can look at one oh. of my images there, which is made with the Kodak. Oh, very good. We'll go. We'll go. We'll do some B-roll on it later. Um, yeah, I can see it there. That's beautiful. It's beautiful. You know, Kodak came out with T Max to replace Triax in the uh, yes. in the nineties, but because the T grain structure was tighter grain, but the, the whole point with the X grain was that the grain was beautiful. Correct. And so they just kept on making it, right? Yep. Um, Oh, Triax, yeah. It's it's still. Um, they, I think they sell a lot more Triax. I'm they, sure they do. They do. I'm sure they do. Max. Yeah. When I was, I actually, I'm not sure if you knew this, but I worked at Kodak for a decade. Oh wow. And so I, in pro film, mm -hmm. and I was there just as, I mean, they're trying to discontinue it. You know, we were trying to discontinue it, but people wouldn't stop buying it, because especially the Hasselblad should be shooting 120. The 120 was so sharp that they were putting that. You know, they were sandwiching Vaseline between two filters to soften the uh, faces of the brides. But if you shot Tri-X, they had this ghostly halo look anyways. That was like the soft filter. That green was beautiful. And so I see why people love it. I love it. Delta. I mean, I don't know. I, I'll try a roll. Someone said Delta's gotten better from my time from the 90s, but I didn't like it. Actually, I can tell you that Delta is, in terms of film and the quality of the film, yeah. it's probably the best film best black and white film ever made. All right. Uh, and and, and this right. is this is factual. Yeah. It is, I mean, I, I've, speaking, I've spoken to many uh, manufacturers who are making different film. Yeah. Um, I mean, the, many of them disagree. It's like Delta is the best it's film the premium. Yeah. on the market. Yeah. But, try it. Yeah, uh, it's something, it's just, right? It's just something I'm used to, I'm comfortable with. I yeah. can push, I can pull, I can do whatever with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I like that sort of rough look it has yeah. uh, when you do street photography. So yeah, yeah, it works yeah. for me and that's what I like. Do you like to push it to 1600 or like you say, you I, just do I whatever, you do whatever. I shoot tri yeah. um, 90% of the time at 800. Mm. Um, and uh, I use a double upper which is called burst speed. Mm. Uh, which You're giving all your secrets away, you know that, right? Sorry? You're giving away all your secrets. Yeah. If your um, secrets. Yeah, I, I, I use, I use Burst speed just simply because timing, temperature, it, it just works really well. Yeah, I, I'll show you an example. Yeah, um, I shot my my daughter with my oh. holy flex uh, late last year, um, and this is shot on Triax. Oh, just maybe just yeah, hit the face right there. Look at that. Oh, yeah, look at that. So you can actually have a look. Um, it doesn't look like Triax. 
Yeah, it doesn't. And, and, and that's because it's, it's the developer that does oh, the magic. Yeah. So it really depends. I, I always decide what developer I'm going to use. Yeah. To so what was it? Again? What was what was the uh, which which one was it again? The this is burst feed by Berger. Burst feed by Berger. Okay. Yeah. Um, and it develops best at 24 degrees. Not 20, 24 degrees. All right. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, because I know the temperature makes a big difference. Yes. So shoot at 24. Very good. Yeah. Excellent. So, I mean, I, I don't really promote. Any brands of no, 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 hey, just, just, think, to, just think, to share I think with people you. just want to know what you use, right? Um, so right here. So that's what I use to develop most of my film with. Yeah. Um, which I highly recommend. Yeah. Uh, if you've not tried it, you got to try it. Yeah. Very good for pushing. So if you process a Delta thirty two hundred, yeah, you'll be surprised how amazing it is. Amazing in terms of the tonality or the fine, really, even a thirty two hundred. Yeah. Wow. Oh, I'm getting excited. Next, we we have to come. Do you do you have a dark room at home, or do you have a dark room around I, here? Or? I use my bathroom as my dark room. Okay, uh, so that's where I work see. from is my bathroom, and that's what I was doing it last night. Was I processed two rolls of film? Finally, and yeah, one and then, one, one was for a customer, one was for myself. Okay, but I still have heaps to process from my trip in Europe recently. So yeah. Um, yeah, step by step. I'm not I'm not I'm not rushed. I'm not. Welcome to the world of film photography. That's, you're gonna. I have. I mean, think about it. Most of my pictures are still shot film, all through the '90s and 2000s. None of them scanned. They're all printed at one point. But I've got to a point where all I would do is go to a lab and say, "Don't process. Don't print. Just do the negs." I, like same thing. I have negs from 20 years ago. I've never even looked at yet. Yeah. And it's just so much work to scan it all. Just kind of. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Well, when I have time, I'll, I'll get around it. Get around that, it. That's, that's what I say. All right, so Vish, uh, last couple of questions. So we talked about your favorite film, Tri X. Um, favorite camera, probably what's in front of us. My most used camera. Most used camera. Obviously, you like twin lens reflex as well. Yes, I do. Is there any camera that you would love to maybe own someday, but you just haven't come around to, or you pretty much you found your? Yeah, I, I'm. I'm. I'm I'm not much of a camera collector. Mm -hmm. Pretty much, if I have a camera, I'll shoot it. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm not loyal. This works for me, and I'll use it. This probably won't ever break either. So you're good for a very long time. Uh, hopefully, yeah. Ho hopefully. <laughs> hopefully. I like your answer. I mean, a lot of us. Uh, Bellamy's talk was about having gas, and and a lot of people spend more time collecting cameras and taking pictures. You seem like you're a shooter, which is excellent. Yeah, I I do have a few cameras, but yeah. I only shoot with um, I shoot with my my Leica, yeah. my X Pan, yeah. um, and my Rolly Flex. Mm. These are the three cameras I use the most. Yeah. And, and I, I, you know, with talking I'm about like how you just keep like getting up is awesome. Talking about uh, X Pan, um, yeah. when Bellamy released his film, I was given a couple of rolls to help him test it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. this is like the debut images that I shot with my X Pan. For oh him. wow, look at that! I'm so, actually thinking of shooting this tonight. With the egg wall with the uh, TX2, the, the, the Fuji film. This is beautiful. Mm -hmm. And this is with the 45 lens? Which lens is it? 45. Yeah, beautiful. It's up for sale. So it's actually. It's up for sale? Yeah, because I, I recently acquired a brand new um, X Pan 2. Oh. Mm -hmm. So sort of replacing it yeah. uh, with that. It's beautiful though, I love this. You should print this larger. I will. You should. <laughs> it's beautiful. You know, I mean, I know that's someone else's photo there, but you know, that's beautiful. But I think this this will look really nice on that wall. It's fantastic. Yeah, I mean, if you haven't ever tried the the X Pan or the uh, Fujifilm uh, the TX series, you're basically shooting with a 45 mil lens, but you're getting double frames, so you're almost getting like a 21 mil wide angle field of view with the 45 millimeter perspective, which is it's it almost seems impossible, but it's like. A camera is only one lens. The humans, we have two eyes, so we see wider. And so basically you're getting closer to what the human eye sees with this type of uh, compression with the 45 mil, but shooting this wise is fantastic. Yeah, all my images are non-staged. Uh, mm, yeah, yeah, you, you don't, yeah, you, you're, you're a purist when it comes to street photography. I love it. Well, Vish, thank you so much for allowing us to shoot this video so quickly and impromptu. And I uh, look forward to maybe doing some future projects with you. Quickly, you also know Eric, but he knew you pre-baby or just when your daughter was born. That's right. You want to say hi to our good friend Eric? Yo, Eric, come to Hong Kong and visit us. And how about Bellamy? What do you want to say to Bellamy? 
see you this month in a couple of weeks. Oh, he's coming. Yeah. Oh, very good. And Bellamy, thank you so much for inviting. So I have Victor from Bart 1972 on camera. So thank you, Victor, for being my videographer. And um, as well, thank you, uh, Bellamy, for encouraging me and Victor to come and uh, visit because this is this is fantastic. Thank you so much. Yeah. This is the highlight of my trip, other than hanging out with you, Victor. <laughs> so we want to you want to sit back here, and we'll close off. And we'll just finish with our click click. So, anyways, thank you so much for um, watching, guys. Don't forget to sub I think subscribe here. If you like this, yeah. press the subscribe button here. Be part of the camera culture. Do um, you have events and stuff like that? Uh, we have very little events. Very little, but just but maybe in the future. In the we'll future, have to, yes. but if you do anything, it'll be on your website, right? Yes. So just keep an eye on bookmark his website. And do you have any social media like Instagram? Uh, follow us on Instagram. It's just camera film photo. Cater yeah, I'm gonna put it here. Camera film photo, and uh, we will talk to you soon. So thanks for watching and happy shooting. You ready? Yeah. Click. Click, 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 click.